Some Hyundai models have climate control features and settings that are controlled by the touchscreen. Depending on your model, the features can be accessed by the climate button on the touchscreen. By selecting Setup, then Vehicle, and then Climate. Or by selecting the climate button on the console. Here you can turn different features on and off. Recirculate Air lets you control two settings. You can set the vehicle to change the intake mode to recirculate whenever windshield washer fluid is being sprayed. This is to reduce any objectionable scent from the washer fluid. On vehicles equipped with onboard navigation, you can also set the system to switch to recirculate when navigation detects that you're driving into a tunnel. The system will also automatically close any open windows and the sunroof. Under automatic ventilation, auto dehumidify can automatically change the intake mode from recirculate to fresh. This is to increase air cabin quality and reduce humidity. Scheduled ventilation allows you to schedule your vehicle climate system to operate before you get in the vehicle, helping to release hot air. The scheduled ventilation will not repeat, so you will need to set it to operate again the next time you want to use it. Under Defog Defrost options, Auto Defog can automatically reduce the possibility of condensation accumulating on the inside of the windshield. If the system is enabled and it detects a high amount of humidity in the vehicle, it will turn the air conditioning on, change intake mode to fresh, change the mode to windshield, and set fan speed to maximum. On some models, the auto defogging system indicator will illuminate to let you know it's working. In climate features, the AC automatic drying setting is used to eliminate moisture in the air conditioner to help reduce odors. When enabled, the blower motor can automatically operate for up to three minutes after the vehicle has been turned off for 30 minutes. The available wireless charging feature in your Hyundai works with Qi-enabled mobile phones. Check with the manufacturer of your phone to see if it is Qi-enabled. To ensure that the wireless charging system feature is enabled in your vehicle, go to Setup, then Vehicle, then Convenience, then Wireless Charging System for mobile devices. Ensure that it is turned on. Next, find the charging pad in your vehicle. It's normally located next to the USB charging ports in the front passenger area. You can consult your owner's manual for the specific location in your vehicle. Be sure to center your phone in the middle of the charging pad for optimum performance. This will help avoid lower charging rates and higher heat conduction. Clear all other items from the pad and place your phone at its center. You may need to remove your phone cover first. Also, if you have a magnet on your phone or phone case, this will need to be removed as well. Charging will only take place when all of the vehicle's doors are closed and the start-stop button is in the accessory on or start position. When the phone is charging, the pad's indicator will illuminate. You can also track the state of charge on the touchscreen. When complete, the indicator light will turn blue. Then you can remove your phone or wait to pick it up when you leave your vehicle. You may notice that your phone feels warm after charging. This is normal and not a cause for concern. If your phone does become abnormally warm when charging, charging may temporarily stop until the temperature of your phone drops. Charging your phone without a case on can help prevent this from happening. Some mobile phones also feature a self-protection feature. These models may automatically decrease charging speed or stop it altogether at times. If you are using the available digital key feature, the wireless charging system may stop temporarily when the digital key is being used. This is normal. Your Hyundai offers the ability to open or close the windows on your vehicle using the smart key. This lets you open the windows on a warm day to cool the interior or close the windows when it looks like rain. To use this feature, it must be enabled in the Settings menu. Go to Setup, then Vehicle, then Door. 
turn on the remote window control feature. Now you can open the windows by pressing and holding the unlock button for more than three seconds. The vehicle will unlock and the windows will begin to lower. Pressing the lock button and holding it for more than three seconds will lock the vehicle and begin raising the windows. When opening or closing, the window movement will stop as soon as you release the button. As a reminder, when you lower the windows remotely, the vehicle also unlocks. If you want the vehicle to be locked, you can do so with the remote once the windows are open to your preferred position. Available power liftgate and smart liftgate on your Hyundai allows for easy opening and closing using a variety of methods. The main setting for the power liftgate is found at setup, then vehicle, and then door. When turned off, only the liftgate button will control the power liftgate. When turned on, the liftgate button, key fob button, and interior button will all control the power lift gate. For your convenience, the power lift gate will operate with the ignition on or off, but the vehicle must be in park for it to operate. From the driver's seat, you can use the power lift gate main control button. First, make sure the vehicle is in park and the parking brake is set. Press and hold the button for one second to open the lift gate. To close the lift gate, press and hold the button until it closes completely. On the smart key, you can press and hold the liftgate open and close button for one second to open the liftgate. If you need to stop the liftgate movement, press either the main control button or the button on the smart key. From the rear of the vehicle, you can press the power liftgate open switch to open the liftgate. The power liftgate close switch inside the liftgate can be used to close it. The Smart Liftgate feature is a hands-free feature that can be very useful when you're carrying items that need to go into the rear of the vehicle and the liftgate is closed. First, be sure Smart Liftgate is enabled. Select Setup, then Vehicle, and then Door. Tap the slider button to turn the feature on. Once the vehicle has been locked and 15 seconds have passed, Smart Liftgate operation is activated. To use it, Stand within three feet of the rear bumper for more than three seconds with the smart key on your person. The hazard lights will flash, the chime will sound six times, and the smart lift gate will open. If you mistakenly enter the smart lift gate sensing area and you wish to stop the lift gate from opening, simply walk away from the rear of the vehicle while the beeping is still sounding. The lift gate will remain closed. If you press any button on the smart key, the smart lift gate function will be deactivated temporarily and the lift gate will not open. Smart lift gate will not operate within 15 seconds of locking the vehicle. If the smart key is detected in close proximity of the vehicle within 15 seconds of locking the vehicle. If a door is not locked or closed. If the smart key is in the vehicle. You can also adjust the operating height of the power lift gate. This can be handy if you have a garage with a low ceiling, for instance. Select Power Liftgate Opening Height, and you can choose between four preset opening heights. You can also choose to set a custom opening height. First, select User Height Setting. Then position the liftgate manually to the height you prefer. Press and hold the Power Liftgate Open Close button located inside the liftgate for more than three seconds. After you hear two beeps, use the button to close the liftgate. The liftgate will now open to your preset height. Finally, you can also adjust the operating speed of the power lift gate. Go to the door menu and then select power lift gate opening speed. You can choose between normal and fast opening speeds. interval and oil change reminder features on your Hyundai provide an easy way to let you know when your vehicle needs service. 
for vehicles with an active BlueLink account, simply go to the touchscreen and then press Maintenance. Here you'll see the remaining miles or days until your next recommended maintenance should be performed. To change the service or turn the reminder on or off, you can press Reset Service Intervals. You can also do this on vehicles without an active BlueLink account. Select Setup, then Vehicle, and then Convenience. Select Service Interval to activate it. Once you activate the feature, you can change the distance traveled or number of days until you have the service reminder. Setting for 5,000 miles and 270 days, for instance, will cover most normal or severe service intervals. For your recommended service intervals, please see your owner's manual. Once those are both set, the service interval reminder will activate once either of these periods, miles traveled or months passed, has been attained. You can also see the oil change reminder. This displays the estimated remaining life of the engine oil. However, this can only be accurate if the reset button was pressed at the time of the last oil change. In addition, if your vehicle is operating under the severe maintenance schedule, oil changes may be required more frequently. Finally, you should know that the oil change reminder does not monitor your engine oil level. This should be checked regularly. At a minimum, it should be checked every 2,000 miles or every three months. Setting the date and time on your Hyundai is very easy. To access the date and time settings, press and release the clock at the top of the touchscreen. Some models may have the option to use GPS time. When automatic time setting is selected, your Hyundai will automatically set the date and time using information obtained from global positioning satellites. However, if GPS data is unavailable to be received, or you wish to have the time adjusted away from GPS set time, you can manually set the date and time. This can also be helpful if your system time is only correct when your mobile device is connected to your Hyundai. You can set the date and time yourself by deselecting the automatic time setting box. If you prefer to use a 24-hour clock, select 24 hours to change the time format. The Daylight Savings Time setting is used to adjust the time accordingly. Select this if Daylight Savings Time is currently in effect in your locale. All new touchscreen on your Hyundai has a new search feature. With it, you can quickly find locations, stations, vehicle settings, and more. To use it, press the search button on the touchscreen control panel. Here you can type in or speak an address or point of interest, and then quickly navigate to it. But you can also use it for many other helpful features. You may choose to look for coffee shops, or a music genre. or a contact. If you want to change a setting for the vehicle, but aren't certain where the setting is, you can type in a keyword for it. Or if a warning message shows up on the screen, you can type in the message and get more information on it. There are a few limitations on the search feature. It is not able to search for media or contacts on connected devices. Contacts will only be retrieved if they've been downloaded into the vehicle's system memory. Some menus or settings will not be accessible when the vehicle is driving, and using the voice recognition button will override the search screen. The available valet mode feature allows you to protect your personal information and view vehicle information. When turned on, it locks a valet or guest driver out of personal information stored in the navigation and other electronic systems. 
It also will allow you to see the distance driven, elapsed time, and high speed attained while the mode is enabled. Valet mode requires an active Bluelink account, and you must also have the My Hyundai with Bluelink app installed on your smartphone and connected to the account. To turn on Valet mode, select it from the home screen. Enter a four-digit passcode that you can easily remember. Enter the passcode a second time. Once your passcode is set, the infotainment screen will be locked and no one else will be able to access your information stored in the system. The screen will only show the valet mode screen until valet mode is turned off. While valet mode is on, you will see a summary of the vehicle information on the right side of the screen. To turn off valet mode, enter the passcode. The audio system in your Hyundai is extremely customizable, which allows you to truly personalize your listening and driving experience. To access these features, press Setup, and then select Sound. Select Premium Sound, and you'll see the following settings. Dynamic speed compensation will adjust the audio system automatically according to vehicle speed to help keep the experience consistent. Some vehicles will have speed-dependent volume control instead of dynamic speed compensation. Selecting largest change, moderate change, or smallest change will let the audio system adjust accordingly as the vehicle's speed changes. Selecting off will prevent the volume from changing automatically as the vehicle speed changes. Startup max volume limit lowers radio and media volumes when you start the vehicle if they're above factory set maximum startup levels. Position allows you to focus sound to a specific position in the vehicle. Touching different places on the diagram will allow you to change the audio focus. To return to a central audio focus, press the target symbol. The tone tab lets you customize the treble, mid-range, and bass settings of the audio system. Guidance has several settings you can adjust. Guidance Volumes lets you adjust how loud and often voice guidance and alerts are provided. Navigation During Calls allows guidance to be heard during a phone call. Navigation Volume Priority will lower all other media or radio audio to ensure the directions are heard clearly. Radio Noise allows you to customize sound quality when listening to FM radio by adjusting the background noise. Driver Assistance covers multiple features. See the Adjusting Warning Volumes video for more information on these. Connected Devices lets you set the playback volume for your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay device. See the Phone Projection Volume Settings video for more information on these settings. buttons on your Hyundai can be used to quickly access frequently used functions. They can be found on both the steering wheel and on the touchscreen control panel. Each custom button can be programmed to its own function, or in some cases, to the same function. To program either button, press and hold the button until the button settings menu appears on the touchscreen. Or select Setup, and then Buttons. Here you can choose the function of the control panel custom button, as well as the steering wheel mounted custom button. Note that some functions are not available for both buttons. The audio mode button on your Hyundai allows you to easily switch between audio sources. This lets you change sources without removing your hands from the steering wheel or taking your eyes off the road. The audio mode button is especially helpful when you're using the map feature on Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or the available onboard navigation, and want to change audio sources without moving away from the map screen. The first time you use the mode button, you'll be able to set the different sources it changes between. You can select each source you'll want to rotate through. Once the sources are set up, 
Pressing the button will change to the next source on the list. Keep pressing the button to return back to the original audio. You can still use the audio selection buttons on the steering wheel, even when the audio source isn't being displayed on the touchscreen. And remember that each audio source on your Hyundai has its own volume setting, so you may need to turn the volume up or down as you change audio sources. Finally, should you ever want to add or remove an audio source from the audio mode button list, press and hold the button to return to the source selection menu. The dynamic voice recognition system in your Hyundai allows you to use your voice and your active BlueLink account to control vehicle functions, navigate to points of interest, and even obtain stock, weather, and sports information. Simply press the voice recognition button on the steering wheel and then give the command. Vehicle control commands can allow you to control climate settings, seat warming and ventilation, trunk or lift gate. Pressing the button and saying, help, here are some available commands. We'll bring up a list of many of the commands you can use. You can bring up menu settings to quickly access them. Search settings sound. Please say the line number. And tune to different stations or music sources. Tune to classic vinyl. Now listening to Sirius XM classic vinyl. For navigation, you can search for points of interest. Find Starbucks in Fountain Valley. Please say the line number. And then navigate to them. Two. You can also command it to go to a preset destination. Go home. And even obtain information on stocks. What's the price of Google today? Alphabet Incorporated closed at $108. Weather. What's the chance of rain in Santa Ana today? It doesn't look like it's going to rain near Santa Ana and sports results. The final score was Memphis Grizzlies 85. To obtain stock, weather, and sports information, as well as use many of the advanced voice control features, you need an active Hyundai BlueLink subscription. And you also need to be in an area with connectivity to BlueLink. If BlueLink isn't connected or activated, different commands will be necessary, and some commands may not be functional. Finally, you should know that the voice recognition button controls both dynamic voice recognition and phone functions, such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A brief tap of the button will bring up dynamic voice recognition, while a longer hold of the button will allow phone functions. The digital instrument cluster in your Hyundai is designed to be customizable, which allows you to adjust it to suit your needs or style. To change screens on the display, use the menu mode button on the steering wheel. Pressing the button will cycle between the different modes that can be displayed. Pressing the up, down, OK scroll switch will sort through the different functions in each mode. The trip computer displays driving information, such as fuel economy, range, trip meter, digital speedometer, energy flow on some electrified models, and other settings. On vehicles equipped with the optional onboard navigation, the turn-by-turn -turn mode displays the state of navigation and will show turn-by-turn -turn directions. If no navigation is active, it will show a compass instead. The Drive Assist screen shows the state of available features such as smart cruise control, lane following assist, and driver attention warning. To adjust settings for the driver assist features, press and hold the OK switch. The touchscreen will show the features that can be adjusted. The tire pressure monitoring system status is also shown in the center display, as is the drive force distribution on some all-wheel drive models. The display will also provide warning messages if a vehicle system is not operating correctly. You can also adjust the appearance of the cluster. Select Setup, then Screen Layout, then Cluster Theme Selection. Select Link to Drive Mode, and the cluster appearance will change automatically when a new drive mode is selected. 
Gauge style changes the gauge appearance, if available on your vehicle. On some models, graphic style lets you change the appearance of the graphics on the screen when it isn't linked to drive modes. Hyundai offers multiple ways to customize the interior lights and display on your vehicle. Many of these settings are located in the Lights menu on the touchscreen. Select Setup, then Vehicle, and then Lights. On vehicles that offer ambient lighting, you can adjust the brightness. Select the color. Set them to change according to the selected drive mode and set the lights to dim in the dark automatically. You can also set the interior switches and buttons to remain illuminated at all times, not just when the headlights are on. Other adjustments can be found in the display menu. Select setup and then display. You can manually adjust the brightness of the screens and on some vehicles, have it set to automatically adjust based on ambient lighting and whether it's day or night. You can turn on and adjust the blue light filter. This can help reduce eye strain during long drives. You can adjust the filter for warmer or cooler lighting and also set it to operate automatically based on ambient lighting or set it to only operate during a certain time period. Beam Assist is a helpful convenience feature that's standard on your Hyundai. When operating, it will automatically switch between high and low beam headlights when it detects oncoming vehicles or vehicles ahead. To use it, first ensure that the feature is enabled. Press Setup, then Vehicle, then Lights. Here you can enable High Beam Assist. When driving, set the headlights to auto operation. Then push the headlight lever towards the instrument cluster and release it. The high beam assist indicator will illuminate on the instrument cluster, letting you know that it's active. At speeds above 25 miles per hour, high beam will be turned on. It will automatically switch to low beam. When headlights of an oncoming vehicle are detected, it detects the taillights of a vehicle ahead or surrounding ambient light is bright enough to not require high beams. The system will also automatically turn off the high beams when your speed drops below 15 miles per hour, and it will turn off if you move the lever away from you again. If high beam assist automatically switches to low beam, but you still need to engage the high beam, you can do so manually by pulling the lever toward you. When you release the lever, the lever will return to the center position and high beam assist will be turned off. If you would prefer to operate the high beams manually, simply set the headlights to the manual setting and use the high beams as you would normally. High beam assist does have limitations on operation, such as when road conditions cause reflectivity issues or lights from a vehicle ahead are not detected due to smoke, fog, or snow. For more information on these limitations, as well as more information on high beam assist, Hyundai has selectable drive modes that allow you to change the vehicle's driving characteristics to suit your needs. The drive mode control knob or switch on the center console allows you to change modes. Simply rotate the button or press the switch and the modes will change. Normal mode is best for everyday driving. It provides regular daily driving performance and fuel efficiency. Sport mode improves driving performance but may decrease fuel efficiency. It will hold a lower gear when possible to help with acceleration out of corners. 
Steering effort will also increase to provide a more sporting feel. Snow mode, available on all-wheel drive models, can be used to help maintain traction on snowy roads. No matter which mode is selected, your Hyundai will return to normal mode when it's turned off and then restarted. All-wheel drive models will also have the differential lock button. When differential lock is turned on, the vehicle will send power to both the front and rear wheels at all times at speeds below 25 miles per hour. This can help improve performance in slippery conditions, but will also decrease fuel efficiency. The new Hyundai touchscreen system allows you to use either wired or wireless connections when using Android Auto, depending on your model. When setting up your Android device for the first time with your Hyundai, it's easiest to use the wired connection. First, make sure that your Hyundai is ready to connect with your device. Press Setup, then Device Connection, then Phone Projection, and then select Android Auto Settings. Make sure the feature is enabled. If your vehicle has switchable USB ports, make sure it's set to Data. Connect your device to the data port. Follow the prompts on the screen. Once connected, you may need to approve use of Android Auto on your device. When your device is connected to your Hyundai, the phone projection icon will be replaced by the Android Auto icon. On vehicles with wireless phone projection capability, your phone will also be recognized for wireless projection. But to do so, you need to make sure the vehicle and phone are set up for wireless projection. Turn on both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your mobile device. Ensure that Android Auto is enabled in your vehicle. Then select Phone Projection and follow the prompts on the screen. You should now be able to use Android Auto wirelessly. You should know that the engine start-stop button must be in the on position for wireless Android Auto to work. When you first start your vehicle, it may take up to 20 seconds for the feature to begin. This is normal. If the feature does not start, check your phone to ensure that both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on. Hyundai touchscreen system allows you to use either wired or wireless connections when using Apple CarPlay, depending on your model. When setting up your Apple device for the first time with your Hyundai, it's easiest to use the wired connection, even if you're planning on using the wireless connection. Use the USB data port on your Hyundai to connect your device. If your vehicle has a switchable port, make sure it's set to data. Connect your device to the data port. Follow the prompts on the screen. Once connected, you may need to approve use of Apple CarPlay on your device. When your device is connected to your Hyundai, the phone projection icon will be replaced by the Apple CarPlay icon. On vehicles with wireless phone projection capability, your phone will also be recognized for wireless projection. But to do so, you need to make sure the vehicle and phone are set up for wireless projection. Turn on both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your mobile device. Follow the prompts on the touchscreen. You should now be able to use Apple CarPlay wirelessly. You should know that the engine start-stop button must be in the on position for wireless Apple CarPlay to work. When you first start your vehicle, it may take up to 20 seconds for the feature to begin. This is normal. If the feature does not start, Check your phone to ensure that both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on. The lane safety systems in your Hyundai are comprised of two different available features, Lane Keeping Assist and Lane Following Assist. 
Lane Keeping Assist is designed to warn the driver if their vehicle leaves the lane without using the turn signal. It may also provide steering assistance to prevent the vehicle from departing the lane. Lane Following Assist is an optional feature that can help keep your Hyundai centered in the lane by gently adjusting steering. Both features are controlled by using a setting inside the driver assistance menu or the Lane Driving Assist button on the steering wheel. To turn lane safety on or off on the touchscreen, select Setup, then Vehicle, then Driver Assistance, and then Driving Safety. Tap the tab to turn lane safety on or off. To turn lane safety on or off on the steering wheel, press and hold the Lane Driving Assist button. Turning off the lane safety setting will turn off both Lane Keeping Assist and, if equipped, Lane Following Assist. The vehicle will remember the last setting each time it is restarted. So if the system was turned on when you last shut your vehicle off, it will be on when you restart it. You will not need to take any action. Lane Following Assist can be turned on and off with a short press of the Lane Driving Assist button. This will only turn Lane Following Assist on and off. Lane Keeping Assist will remain on. When the features are enabled, the indicators on the instrument cluster illuminate. At first, the indicators will be gray. That means that the features are enabled, but not active. You'll see a graphic of your vehicle on a road with lane markers on either side. If a lane marker is detected, the indicator color will change from gray to white. When both markers are detected, the indicators will turn green to indicate that the systems are active. It's important to remember that you still need to steer the vehicle even when the system is active. If you take your hands off the steering wheel for several seconds while the systems are activated, the system will warn you with on-screen messages and audible warnings. If you continue to drive with your hands off the steering wheel, a new warning message may appear. At this time, Lane Following Assist will be automatically cancelled. If you're driving on a very straight road for a long period of time with little input on the steering wheel, the system may alert you as well. If so, try to add slight inputs when possible. The systems will not be active if you have your turn signal on or when you steer the vehicle out of the center of your lane. Also, the effort needed to turn the steering wheel may feel heavier or lighter when the systems are active than when they are not. In addition, when lane following assist is active, the steering wheel corrections may feel abrupt. This is normal. Lane driving assist may not fully function in certain bad weather or road conditions, or at certain speeds. The navigation system on your Hyundai allows you to quickly and easily set and adjust routes. Press search to go to the search screen. Here you can search for a point of interest or point of interest category or a specific address by entering it into the information line or using voice to text. Find Starbucks in Fountain Valley and then selecting from the destinations listed. Please say the line number. Two. You may be shown a choice of routes. Select the route you wish to take and guidance will start automatically after five seconds. You can also select options for the route, such as avoiding tolls or ferries. The navigation screen will follow the progress of your route as you drive. And if the scale button is set to auto, it will zoom in and out automatically to help guide you at intersections. On the navigation screen, the cancel route icon will cancel route guidance if tapped and pause guidance if held. When guidance is active, you can see the remaining distance to travel and the estimated time of arrival in the destination info screen. Select this if you need to change routes. Add a waypoint or change the display from the estimated time of arrival to time remaining. If the Blue Link icon is displayed, your vehicle is using the connected routing feature from Blue Link. See the connected routing and last mile navigation video for more information on this feature. You can choose to display the vehicle speed on the map as well. Select the menu button and then navigation settings. Under display, select vehicle speed. 
Turn-by-turn -turn information can be displayed in two places. If equipped with the head-up display, or HUD, you can have turn-by-turn -turn directions shown as part of the information in that system. See the head-up display video on how to select this. Turn-by-turn -turn directions can also be shown in the instrument cluster display. Use the display button to change displays and see the turn-by-turn -turn directions. When you get closer to your destination, the parking icon may appear on screen. Selecting it will show parking lots near your destination. The navigation system features many other tools that can make route guidance easier, such as saving home, work, and favorite locations, as well as setting waypoints and route avoidance options. Hyundai offers two safety systems to help prevent collisions when backing up. Reverse Parking Collision Avoidance Assist, or PCA, helps detect objects or pedestrians when in reverse. Rear Cross Traffic Collision Avoidance Assist, or RCCA, helps detect vehicles approaching from the left or right when in reverse. To activate the system, select Setup, then Vehicle, then Driver Assistance, and then Parking Safety. Select Rear Safety to turn PCA on or off. Select Rear Cross Traffic Safety to turn RCCA on or off. If PCA detects an object or pedestrian behind you and in reverse, the system will sound a warning chime, and an alert will appear on the LCD display and touchscreen. If a collision is likely, PCA may apply the brakes for about two seconds. If RCCA detects a vehicle approaching while your vehicle is in reverse, the system will sound a warning chime. A warning on the outer edge of the side view mirror will flash and an alert will appear on the LCD display. If the rear view monitor is on, an alert message also appears on the touchscreen. This warning will stop when the detected vehicle moves out of the sensing area, is right behind your vehicle, slows down, is no longer approaching your vehicle, if a collision with the vehicle is likely, RCCA may apply the brakes for about two seconds. Please note that each time you put the vehicle in reverse, PCA and RCCA will intercede with automatic braking only once if a collision is likely. After the brakes have been activated, you must then take control. PCA only functions when in reverse. It can only detect pedestrians when the vehicle speed is less than six miles per hour and can only detect objects when the vehicle speed is less than three miles per hour. RCCA only functions if you're in reverse and moving backwards at less than seven miles per hour. RCCA can only detect vehicles traveling at more than five miles per hour and less than 24 miles per hour, up to 82 feet away. The detection speed and range may vary under certain conditions. You should avoid placing stickers or other obstructing items over the sensors used by PCA and RCCA. Doing so may cause the system to not operate correctly. RCCA does have its limitations of operation, including when there's a vehicle or structure near that blocks the sensor's range. You're driving in a complex parking environment with many moving vehicles, backing out on a steep road. The view monitor feature on your Hyundai is a supplemental system that uses a camera to provide a view of the area behind your vehicle. The camera is located on the rear of your vehicle. Depending on your vehicle, the exact location will vary. When your Hyundai is placed in reverse, the camera will automatically turn on, with the view displayed on your vehicle's touchscreen. To assist in parking, the image will remain on the screen when the vehicle is shifted from reverse to drive at speeds below 6 miles per hour. On some models, this feature is part of the rear view monitor feature. On others, the feature needs to be turned on. To turn the feature on, press the setup icon on the screen while the rear view monitor is operating. The camera will automatically turn off when the vehicle is shifted to park. Some models also have features such as top view and rear view parking lines. 
If your model is equipped with these, they can be turned on and off in the setup menu when the rear view monitor is operating. On models with the parking view button, pressing this button will also turn the camera on at speeds below six miles per hour. It can also turn the camera view off if the vehicle is not in reverse. Finally, if the view from the camera is obscured due to dirt or water, you can clean the lens with a clean microfiber cloth. The available surround view monitor, or SVM, on your Hyundai assists parking by allowing the driver to see around the vehicle. It uses cameras mounted in the side mirrors and the front and rear of the vehicle. The system can be set to operate automatically when the vehicle is placed in reverse. To do so, select Setup, then Vehicle, then Driver Assistance, and then Parking Safety. Ensure that Surround View Monitor Auto On is set to On, then select Parking Distance Warning Auto On to turn it on. Now the system will turn on automatically when you place the vehicle in reverse. It will remain on even if you place it in drive, so long as you don't exceed 6 miles per hour. You can also turn the system on manually at speeds below 6 miles per hour by pressing the Parking View button. SVM will turn off automatically when you press the Park View button. You exceed 6 miles per hour or you press one of the touchscreen control panel on the dash when the vehicle is not in reverse. 3D Surround View provides a view around the vehicle itself. You can drag the image around to see the surroundings of the vehicle. You can also use the My Hyundai with Blue Link app with 3D Surround View. You must have an active Blue Link subscription as well as connectivity for your vehicle and your mobile device. Open the app, select Utilities, and then select Surround View Monitor. You will see the most recent images around your vehicle, as well as the time they were taken. Select Request Images to refresh the images around your vehicle. You can also choose the view you wish to see. You can choose the Surround View Overhead View or view each camera individually. Note that in order to see the updated images, you must leave the current screen and go back into Surround View Monitor screen. You can also save images to photos. The windshield wipers are controlled by the stock on the right side of the steering column. The stock moves up and down, as well as toward the driver when controlling the front windshield wipers. Pressing the stock down momentarily activates the mist feature. The windshield wipers will wipe for as long as you press the stock down. Releasing the stock will return the wiper to the off position. The first setting for the windshield wipers is intermittent, or int on the stock. This operates the intermittent wipers. In this mode, the wipers operate at set intervals. To adjust the intervals, move the speed control knob on the wiper stock. The highest setting on the knob will operate the wipers more frequently. Moving the knob lower will operate the wipers less frequently at each position. The next setting is low. At this setting, the wiper runs at a low speed. The top setting on the stock is high. At this setting, the wiper runs at the highest speed possible. If you pull the wiper stock towards you, the vehicle will spray windshield washer fluid on the windshield and the windshield wiper will wipe briefly as long as you're pulling on the lever. Be sure to turn the windshield wiper stock to off before washing the windshield or going through a car wash. Failure to do so may damage the wipers. Some Hyundai vehicles have the park feature. This brings the windshield wipers up to a vertical position and holds them there. This allows you to lift the wipers up to clean the windshield or to service the wiper blades. To access the park setting, turn the vehicle off, then press the windshield wiper stock into the mist setting and hold it there for three seconds. The wipers will move to a vertical position and hold there. To turn off the park feature, simply start the vehicle and then tap the wiper down for one second. 